The good old days, John. The good old yeah, days. Good old days. Boom Still, Esports, however, PL. Mm. Steal it away from Jackie. It's mm. their turn to kind of reel it back. So they take away Masaras Tide for FEZ. They take away the Jackie PL for uh, Dream Oysel. We'll see if it pays off. They do have the pacing for it. And they've got some amazing team fight coming out. Like Ravage with a stomp, with the splutter, with the, the song and dance from Crystal Maiden, Freezing Field. It can be a lot. And if you take away this Faces Void from the equation, not much else there to stop it. Maybe the Tiny can reach. Maybe the Oracle is going to be slightly disruptive. But there's just so much to pile on here from Boom. MG Trust, I have a feeling that will just be the Masaros Void. So they're trying to bait um, Boom Esports into tinking. It's going to be the Void one. But it's going to be an exciting Magister game. So many big ulties, yeah. John. you got the Ravage, the RP, the Chrono. It's just... It's going to be a good one. And I, uh, mm -hmm. That game won. I mean, it was so explosive between these Ten two teams. Seconds. Neither one wanting to back off. I hope we have a similar game this time Ten around. It's uh, got to be exhausting for them, but you know, it's the grand finals, John. You've got you to yep. bring everything out now. That you do. That you do. And you know what would be really nice? You see all these spells, right? Like a Rubik would be so lovely here. It's just... Yes, you, it would. It, it would have to be a core Rubik. You know, it would have to be for Boom and for MG Trust. Like, What's wrong with that? It makes it makes more sense for Boom, I think, because that would be pause too. For MG Trust, it's an awkward spot. Really Maybe you run Magnus mid. No, I'd say Magnus off Rubik mid, and then uh, Void one, or you could do Rubik off. We've seen that as well. But it is a bit shakier, but it's so much more fun if they do it. I, I don't think that's going to happen, though, but there is value. You know, there's so many good spells to steal. We'll see, though. I think MG Trust, again, they're pocketing the Void for Masters. They're holding out Five for seconds. the Jackie hero, something that gets enabled by the mag. Who knows? Maybe we see something Dyer's like a PA, although it can be a bit iffy, um, considering that you don't do much in Chrono unless we see on the edge Chronos again for Masaros. You can do that, but it's open. It's very open here for MG Trust to close out their draft. Final ban outs now. We see mid heroes being removed. Boom Esports getting rid of the puck. Motivate Trust Gaming removing the Storm Spirit for now. Just not wanting to give Makoto that hero again. And I can't quite blame them for that either as Makoto. Even though they did struggle on the side of Boom Esports, it was mostly Makoto that was holding back the side of Motivate Trust that game number one. And he can uh, be a real kind of second option to the pause one, which is played by Dreamer Soul. Yeah. If Dreamer Soul's not having a good game. Dynasty. Even ban out the Wind Ranger, motivate trust, straight into the Sanky Ooh. again. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's it worked the, the first Masaras. time. Mm-hmm. Master of Sand King. So it is the Jackie faces void. And you've got the mag. Because so I guess that doesn't make sense to put him on the pause one. Amazing team fight here. Ten. RP into Burrow Strike. Epicenter is insane but boom as well again ravage freezing field stomp splutter it's a lot as well so it's a back and forth for both teams it's gonna be exciting to watch boom they only have the mikado hero left to pick up what will it be for him down mid it's something for him to style on he knows his matchup is the magnus Ooh. okay goes for the od so we saw mikado play this as well and that's gonna make the life of the void very difficult right as you are gonna mm. potentially be Astraled up through the chrono, which you don't want. Or he just astrals his teammates through the chrono. Mm. It will indeed be a Jackie Void we're seeing here as well, as Fearless will go mid on the Magnus, and Masteros will go into the pause 3 roll as the Sand King. Everything else on Boom Esports, fairly standard, of course. Dream is all going to be on the PL, FBZ on the Tide. Again, going to be a pretty fun mm -hmm. matchup, I think. Yeah going to be a great back and forth i think you've got to watch the timings here so jackie's always going to have a way to clear out those pl loop because of empower and fearless as well they've got decent ways to handle the illusion spam Five at the seconds. same time once the defuse ults up and once dream of tank tankier you burn the mana of any of those heroes they're not going to have a good time so it's going to accelerate the rate that you can um kind of lock in control i think there's a lot of pressure to be the initiator here um, for both sides, just because there's so much uh, counterplay potential as well, counter initiation in, and you'd rather be in control of the situation rather than the ones being forced into it. So both sides are going to look for 
Decent blink timings under offlaners down the line. I believe Fearless is going to go for the standard Magnus buildup. Echo Saber blink can be key for him too. For Boom, FBZ will need a blink, although I'm not sure if he's going to rush it in this game. Mikoto, though, will need what we tend to see, like the Ags buildup or the Hurricane Pike buildup for the OD. It's going to be really important to set the pace. Should be a fun back and forth. It is a bit faster for MG Trust just because they've got Empower to play with. Boom. It can be slower if they go off in the laning phase pretty hard. They have to be careful to not drop those lanes against MG Trust. I'm going to it. Game number two. Long in the days, what the f just happened? Can't wait to see what happens this time around. Motivate Trust. Have a one game lead so far. Get into it. We'll see what Dreamasaur can do on the PL as well though, right? Because it's... I mean, you were talking about this in game number one, but Dreamasaur does tend to enjoy playing those... those kind of mid-game snowball e pos mm. ones. And PL is not really one of them that, that can be online so quick. It does need quite a bit more itemization. So, him having to sit back and just farm quite a bit longer We'll see if that does affect Boom Esports. Yeah, I think uh, you shouldn't expect Rumasol to be out and running even with the Defusal. He's going to need, looks like he's going to rush the Defiance here just to have some durability in play. And probably the Manta, that's the point. Uh, Defusal, Manta, and HUD is what you want from the PL here. So it's going to be a little bit more time. Boom can play as Fordo. They've got amazing team fight with these four heroes, although Mikado might also need some time to farm up. So it's slower cores here for Boom. You could argue it's the same thing here for MG Trust, right? Like, a face is void. Maybe you throw the Chrono at once. You will, for the most part, want to farm up. And the same thing goes for the Magnus. It's the Blink Echo Saber timing. So it looks like both sides might be relying more on their supports and their offlane to find those openings. And we'll see if they're going to be given those opportunities. Go into it. The banner is about to spawn up. Should be a two for two trade. Jackie's just uh just dancing on the high ground there as he's gonna move into Hyde now. He's gonna try and steal the third, but he will not be able to. Hyde does manage to pick it up. Jackie able to time walk away. He's still gonna be a two for two. Yeah, and we're gonna see how these lanes do unfold. Of course, it's S FBZ up top here in Radiant side, along with Hyde. We already saw Jackie walking in that lane. They are dragging down Boom Bell as well. So it's the Oracle, Faces Void lane. Fairly straightforward. There's some aggression you can get out if you get some lucky bashes. You can follow up with a nice root in the Oracle. Maybe try to nuke them down. But this lane from Boom is fairly tanky. It's the ET lane. They know how much right foot damage the ET can bring out. And of course, the Tide against Amelie. Anchor Smash is going to be hard to play again. That it will. But Jackie, no matter how much damage he does take, he should be able to time walk most of it off, assuming he does time it right. We'll have a look at the mid lane. And we'll see Fearless up against Makoto, and this could be a bit of a tough one for Fearless. While he does have the Empower, Makoto is just going to be able to Astral him quite consistently as the levels go up. That is going to make the Magnus' life quite a bit tougher in this mid lane. Yeah, it's not going to be too enjoyable. It's still a melee into an OD. An OD, once level 3 comes out, level 2 Astral is going to be pretty annoying to play against. So Fearless probably just going to look for the steady farm. Going to be important to secure his camp there. And of course, you would want to deny off the power runes. So we'll see if the supports can get that done. It should be easier for the Magnus to charge in. But you're still going to look for the assist and down bot. You do see Q along with Maseros. So it's our Sand King plus Tiny Lane up against the CM with Keskute and a toss-up on our Dream Cell PL. Already you're seeing Dream Cell slag behind slightly. Maseros at level 2 should be able to exert pressure with his costing. He should. We saw Maseros before. He just ignores go going for the epicenter and just maxing out everything else. That seems to be the way to play the Sand King in this, uh, this current meta. No real point in the early levels in Epicenter, as it is just a bit too hard to land. The damage isn't exactly amazing at the earlier levels. Maseros, he's going to cop a lot of Lancers out from Dreamer Cell, especially once the Mana Aura is there from Kez'Q. It's, uh, it's one of the beauties about having the PL and CM lane, is you can just really abuse the, the Lance out from Dreamer Cell. One of the main reasons why the Coral Peel used to be so popular uh, mm. 
with that kind of combination, but the CM just kind of grants everyone across the map mana. It's going to feel even nicer. Yeah. Just really good to maintain that aggression. Masaras already just kind of dropping low. He's going to have to eat his regen true earlier than he'd like. And of course, Keskut and the CM at some point can just kind of dip into the jungle, get some pulls, get some EXP for himself. So it's going to be a steady lane if uh, Q doesn't find the opening. And the pressure is on him, although. And they do jump in, but the Crystal Nova going to be out from Keskut. It's going to stop them from chasing down Dreamer Cell, but Q does manage the Avalanche toss onto Keskut. And that's another thing, right? The Q, once he gets a few more levels up, in fact, Maseros sticking around in that sandstorm, not realizing there's a sentry ward down. He will run out of range, but Dreamer Sword does have another Lance. It is only a level 1 Lance, so he won't bother throwing it out. Q, gonna chase down Dreamer Cell, has the Avalanche up in one second, and should be able to get this kill if he picks off the right PL. Dreamer Soul still trying to run, but Q is on the chase, has the Avalanche, has the toss up, and that should be Dreamer Soul oh. going down for first blood. And Q will be the one to pick it up on the Tiny. Took a lot longer than you expect, but it does eventually come in. Good positioning there from Q. Punishing the PL. Masura still has to be careful as the sentry is still in the middle of that lane. But now at level 3, he's got his power spike. He can definitely start to take control once he gets some mana. Oh, Q is going to take the arcane rune away with the toss back into the skew on to Makoto. Luckily, Makoto will have some creeps around and Hyde's also going to come in. But now Q going for the avalanche and Hyde is being hit by that T1 tower. Fortune's end is in. Q with the toss back on to Hyde will get another kill set up. And Q has been very consistently pretty darn good on these tinies over the, all the games we've seen. It looks like this game is not going to be much different. Now he's just exerting that pressure you love to see from the support tiny. It's gonna spot out the TPs as well and they try to go again. Yeah, Avalanche toss, Makoto falling very low but is gonna be able to Astral the Magnus. Hyde is around with the Astral Spirit damage to try and whack away onto Fearless. And Q actually killed off Makoto's Courier but doesn't quite get the OD. And Hyde will protect Fearless, or rather hit Fearless as he does run away. Protects Makoto. Yeah, they do lose out in the runes though because of those support rotations. So, oh, bot lane. It's be all runes. Maseros gets the sandstorm off in time. Keskut doesn't have detection. It's like Maseros will survive, but John, might I just add Dreamer? So, I do love the fact that he just rushed the Hood of Defiance. It's going to mm. make it very hard for the Sankey to try and zone the PL out now. Yeah, and we've, we've seen the PL so far really go for this buildup. They just want to maintain the lane. They want to have a source of, of HP regen just to get that forward farm going. It is going to help, but I think MG Trust have found what they wanted in the lane. So Masaros is at 4. He could just jungle now with level 2 Sandstorm, maybe abandon the lane, get some space out for the supports to just soak. The one thing right now you're not seeing from Boom is them leveraging this uh, hide... Elder Titan. The issue was top lane, of course, when you had the Oracle matchup, if you get your Astral Spirit buff on, the Oracle can just purge it. That's really why Hyde is just forced to walk around with this. Q again onto Hyde. Fearless gonna join in. Does have the RP if he wants to commit it. Fortune Zen gonna be out from Burn Bell, but he does get a nice stomp off. It just isn't gonna last long enough, but he's still gonna buy a lot of time. <laughs> You don't really want to chase like this too long, but Q is going to get the toss up, and that'll be Hyde going down, and the third kill out for our Tiny already. Yeah, and I love that immediate smoke. They've got that RP you talked about waiting to go. They are just going to contest these creeps, and with a double damage, of course, Fearless can find us really easy. They got scanned out through the smoke, but yeah, it just doesn't matter if you can take these stacks away. Still, Kezku going to come in now with FPZ around the corner for the Ravage. Oh. And well, the Magnus still not dead, but the Sanities will come in. Makoto able to take a double kill for himself in the OD. And he shall be very, very happy with that. A bit greedy in the end. Mikado does manage to find some good kills for himself. He's got his level 4 Astral up, so even if you come into the lane to contest, Q's not going to have a good time. Got to be cautious about bleeding those kills onto the OD. And Mikado just sets himself up for a really sweet ramp up on this hero. So they're buying space out across the map as well. The thing is, Jackie has been, for the most part, left alone. There's not been any pressure up top. Top of the last hits, top of the network now on the Faces Void. And that does mean Jackie will get a good ramp into the... Um, 
uh, Mask of Madness, and once that's up, the farmer will really speed up for her face's void. Shell. Doing very well in CS, Jackie. Down to that bot lane where they will see Dream of Soul and they have the Chrono up with the bar of strike out. There's your Chrono being committed, but do they have the damage output? There's your Pashas coming out. Dream of Soul just copping three and again, Q. He's always in the right position at the right time, Q. And he'll find his fourth kill on the Tiny. Yeah, just, they're, they're just finding the biggest kills. They get the punishment onto Dream of Soul. They're going to be able to line up for a push. You do see a bit of a clump up top from Boom, but they opt to TP out. They want to defend. It is only eight minutes into the game. They don't want to lose that tier one tower without a siege creep even being committed here from Motivate Trust. Boom Bell, Q, gonna see Kez Q. There's your Fortune's end to fly out. Masteros trying to break the gap here for a burrow, but the Avalanche toss again. 5-0 for Q now. FBZ trying to deal with Maseros. Feel is just going to go straight in onto Hyde. They have the RP. They can just rush him. They don't even need the RP. They'll just cancel the stomp off. And Hyde will eventually die. And this bot T1 tower, whether Boom Esports like it or not, is going to go down. They just don't have the bodies to throw out. They're going to have to sit back, farm up elsewhere. Without the Ravage, there's just no defense. So the first objective is going to go the way of MG Trust. Mikado has gotten some good damage mid though. The mid tier one down to 600 HP. We might be able to clear it out here, Boom. The tier one mid tower is much more valuable. I'm surprised MG Trust is allowing this to happen. They will. Boom Esports get the better end of the trade with that mid tier one. Good play out from Makoto and FBZ. Just ignore that bot tower afterwards and just take down that mid. That's obviously going to open up the dire jungle now for uh, for Boom Esports to invade. Yeah, just more farm flying out here. Um, they do still have the tier one top though, so it's not fully open, but it's a decent enough spot to get some good farming. So, wow. gotta be careful there, MG Trust. They still are buying some space out. You can see Jackie now starting to clear out the camps, clear out the stacks with the empower, and of course when you've got that up from your Magnus, it goes a lot faster. You do have Ravage up on Boom. You've got Santis Eclipse ready to go as well. You have to be careful if you're going to force a fight out. And it looks like Boom is eyeing that top tier one now. They are. Masteros does get the Veil of Discord up so he can defend even more efficiently now on the Sand King. But he's going to leave that tier one for now. I like it's being pressured too much quite yet. All right, just going to defend the bot lane. Q will be around as well, just trying to farm up his Blink Dagger. And man, that is going to be a fast Blink. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is that is sickeningly fast for the pause for Tiny. He's right below Masaros' farm, uh, Q. So it's been a good time in terms of that distribution towards the Tiny. That could also mean Masaros isn't getting as much as he'd want, but it is paying off so far. Still, the top lane will eventually go. It'll take a while, but they find that top tier one. No defense coming out from MG Trust. We do have some good control here, but they are eyeing that bot lane. They are. Oh, Hyde gonna be all... No, he's not. Boombo's gonna come in with the false promise and take him out. And now, the disarm is there on Makoto. He can't finish the job off. But he did not want to commit sanities for that. And it may not have been enough anyway, but Q would be a much bigger kill anyway. He's gonna make a kill streak on him on the tiny. Q, can he get out of this one? Avalanche toss is there, oh. and we do have a pause out. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, either seconds before a disaster or something nice happens here. But it, I feel like this is when you drop that Santis. Q is worth a lot. Just kill him off. Just do it. Might not need to anyway. Q doesn't have mana. Should just be able to run him down now. So uh, just Should awkward. Be able to. He does have six just... stick charges, but that's really it. It's uh, very limited into, as to what he can do here. Especially with the frostbite out from the CM. So close to that blink as well, just a couple hundred gold off. He really doesn't want to die. He would have had such an amazing timing on that blink dagger on the tiny. Uh, looks like he has no choice. And if this kill goes to Makoto, it's only going to escalate him getting his Aghanim Scepter. Yeah, and that's going to be important for the OD, right? That's the key timing for the hero. And yeah, he'll go. Yeah, go get it. There it is. 
Nice kill for Makoto. That was worth about 500 gold for him. Uh, yeah, just very close to the Ags now. Nice yep, play for Makoto. Good time. They're catching up. 2k behind still. So MG Trust still has a slight edge in the end. Um, you are having issues with Dream Cell here for Boom. That's the biggest pain point here. Like, he's the lowest network core, or at least he's above Maseros, but still not a good spot. Delayed defusal timing means you're not getting as much damage out, and you really need that up to start taking control in these fights. So, you gotta watch yourself here. Get Dream Cell some safe space. Out of Maseros. Maseros trying to turn, but they do dust him up and they do run away. Still, Maseros gonna go for the TP play, but FBZ will not mess around. He'll pop the Ravage, get the kill. It's a very worthwhile kill for them as well on the side of Boom Esports now, lowering that net worth lead to only 1k for Motivate Trust. Yeah, it's a long cooldown to commit, but you take the kill. You just want to sit back and farm anyway. You do not want to force these bigger team fights out yet. So it's not that much of a waste on using Ravage to get someone. Still, MG Trust, they're happy enough to sit back and farm themselves. Jackie just working towards his Maelstrom. He's going to be really... Pumping out the damage with the Chrono once the Nail strims up. Not too far off. And of course, uh, Fearless is inching towards his Blink. So he's got the Echo Saber in. Blink's going to be next. Our Magnus almost ready to go. They do smoke up. Boombell and Jackie, they've got that Chrono. Bot lane, however. Kodo is going to catch out Q once again. Q already buying out his Blink this time. So he does have the Blink Dagger up now on the Tiny, and they do actually scan out FG Trance, but the Chrono is going to connect onto Makoto. Do they have the damage output? False Promise, or rather Fortune Zen, is going to be there from Boom Bell. Makoto so low, he's going to walk out. Jackie, the time dilation, here comes the Mag. Whoa. He wants to commit RP, but he can't get it. No, he can, just in the nick of time. But the Earth Splitter is going to be there. Jackie back in now. Makoto's gone. He'll try on to hide. Here comes Maseros with the Burrow Strike available. He'll turn back around onto the CM, and they will kill off Kezcute and everyone from MG Trust will walk out alive. That was again on the edge but they do manage to take it. Still some damage issues without that Maelstrom. They're gonna want to farm that up on Jackie but they jump on top. They knew the Ravage wasn't there. They didn't have to worry about dropping the Chrono. Found some decent kills. Slowing down the Ag's timing that we've been talking about so gonna have to wait a bit longer for that. Bale of Discord and an Avalanche toss out from Q, and that is a very deadly combination. So, uh, very limited heroes that can really survive that once Masteros does get in with the Veil and the Burrow Strike. Even the Sandstorm damage over time while you're being tossed up in the air is going to be quite nice. It's a great reveal of that blink out for Q. So they're going to have to be aware of the additional initiation here from MG Trust. The mail turns up for Jackie. So his farm shoots up can do damage in the Chrono as well. Uh, boom, they've just got to wait out. The defusal for Dreamosol is almost done. Once you've got that, you can expect your PL to maybe help out the cause, although you would want more farm on him. You do have Ravage and Santis ready to go. You might want to make use of that, but and you trust R keeping a good foot forward, preventing too much deep excursions here from Boom. Maseros, top lane. Let me harass that a bit by Dreamer Cell, but so we're gonna back off. Back to farming for him. He needs that defusal blade up, and if I'm correct, it's on the courier anyway, and it is. Defusal there. Blink dagger on FBZ, however. So you've got more initiation now for Boom Esports. And this is all great timing, because even the Aghanim Scepter on Makoto is coming out. They might as well just yeah. go for a big smoke up now. They need to. They really have to start finding Jackie. We talked about that being the issue in game one, where they just let this uh, this pause one really farm like crazy. They need to get some punishment out while their ults are up. Chrono is not going to be up for seven seconds. It's going to be up soon enough, though. Got to be careful with the timing and jumping in here. Well, they see Boom Bell on the Oracle. They might just decide to go for it first, and they will. Boom Bell does have the False Promise, but is going to try and survive without it. He's been stomped up. FBZ with the Anchor Smash, and the Crystal Nova out from Kresq will be enough for Q. He's having a look. Don't jump in, and even top lane, Dream Assault, just solo kills off Maseros. And that was the Diffusal Blade reveal coming out from Dream Assault. Bot lane. There's Q jumping in now with the Chrono out from Jackie, but the Ravage is going to be there from FBZ. He will not allow Makoto to die. 
Fearless, however, going to jump in with the RP. He does commit, but does he have the damage? He'll skewer back in, but he's in the Crystal Nova now. They'll just toss Makoto back up. They'll get the kill. Jackie somehow out of there with Q and Fearless. They are trying to escape the grass of Boom Esports now. Or maybe even reinitiate Q. Going to toss FBZ back in. That's Hyde gone now. MG Trust just dancing in circles around Boom Esports. Fortune Zen, not going to last too long. Here comes Dreamer Soul on that PO, but the Avalanche is out from Q with the toss up. Dreamer Soul, he's falling oh. low. They'll get the Burrow Strike, they'll get the kill. And Jackie will survive thanks to the false promise out from Boom Bell. Oh, that's not good news for Boom. They blew every one of their spells except for the Sand Piece. That was some really good positioning coming out as well. Like Kezkeep was on point for the freezing field. It just wasn't enough. The lineup of MG Trust has way too much burst. They have way too much durability on the front with the Spaces Void and the Magnus. And Boom has to rethink their game plan. They need to get more stacks up on Mikado. He needs a BKB or this Blink just to get himself in a better spot. And once he stacks up the Eclipse Charges, he can drop the Hammer. They should melt without the BKBs coming in. They just can find that opportunity. There was too much focus coming out from MG Trust. They've got to somehow find a way to give some breathing room here for Mikado to do the work. That they do. Mikado still wanting to get that blink up. It's quite far off it. Jackie. Still top of the net worth board, working towards his own BKB up, and once that BKB is there, it's hard to see how you slow down Jackie, especially in these team fights. You won't be able to lock him down with the Ravage or the Astral, for that matter. He won't care for the PL Diffusal Blade. FBZ looking to re-engage in that dire jungle. He doesn't have Ravage, but he'll spot out Maceros in the Sandstorm. He's getting information for his team. Even Fearless now working towards that BKB. These are some, uh, some great timings for Motivate Trust if they do get them up soon. Really gonna hurt Mikato. They are relying on the OD to get those hits out. The Ravage as well is not gonna do anything. So you start to rely purely on Dream Cell to get Sorry. the damage done. Okay, cute. Trying to get some D wards out by the looks of it. Won't be able to get them off. And Q of course will blow him up with the Tiny. Q is 8, 2, and 3, by the way, on this Tiny now. Just gotta love it. An amazing performance yeah. from him so far on the POS 4. You'd think he's carrying. <laughs> Definitely feels that way. He's been the one finding these opportunities ever since his blink's been up. He's the one setting pace so far. So a lot of good work done by Q to enable this draft. Really has opened up the map here for Jackie to just farm up. For Fearless as well to go for a slower kind of Magnus play, just focusing on this initial buildup. As you mentioned, once the BKBs are up, I think Boom's just going to have a really, really difficult time winning out these fights. Your control disappears, the Ravage won't do anything, Sand Clips won't do anything, your OD's right clicks won't do anything. Q has been spotted out, they get the Frostbite, but they don't want to jump in after him. They don't know who's behind him right now. They haven't got the vision. Huge just gonna jump oh. in now with a double burrow strike out from Maceros into the avalanche toss. There goes Kezcute again. FBZ, he'll be allowed to walk out. Just, it's gonna feel bad if you are Boom Esports right now. I mean, you're buying time, sure. But you're still gonna be concerned about how well Jackie's farming. He's been off the map for a while, but now he's gonna smoke up with the rest of his team. They have the RP, they have the Chrono, they wanna make some plays. He's also got that BKB up, so they jump in with the Burrow Strike. But a big oh. Ravage out from FBZ. He got him before the BKBs. The Astrals will be there with the Sanities. They won't be enough, but they still melt. Q and Jackie going down oh. along with Boom Bell. FBZ. That is some heads up play from him. Ooh. Quick responses and they find more. Odo catching out Fearless. He was the one guy to get away. Commits the RP to try and run. Gets the skewer off as oh, well, no. but he's brought it with him. Makoto's still there. There's no way out. Massive, massive team fight here for Boom Esports. I'm surprised. I'm surprised MG Trust just went in without without the BKBs ready. Like they had it on Jackie, but he didn't pop it preemptively. You have to. You just can't allow it, but 
They kind of stall out, really good punishment from Boom. FBZ again. And this is the second time we're seeing his Tide really pull through for his team. And MG Trust, they lost their lead. It's down to 1k for them, 11 to 15. They still have the Chrono. They can still look for a play. They know there's no Ravage. They know there's no Santis. They smoke up again. They have lost their RP though. So you're not going to have that available. And as well as that, Jackie does not have Empower on himself right now. But he's going to try and sneak the Roshan pit. He'd definitely love to have that Empower to speed this up a bit. Jackie going to try and get it done by himself. The rest of his team to stick around here and just help out with the disarms on the Roshan. Bluebell does have that Math Max Fates Edict, so he can disarm for quite a while. But the Astral Spirit out is going to give Vision of this Roshan happening. Back into it though. They don't mind. Dreamer Soul. He's going to throw some illusions in. Onto Jackie. Get rid of some of that mana. I don't think this is the time for MG Trust to try and Roche. They're just going to back off back to farming. Get some more items up. It's Boom Esports. Of course, they are going to be willing to fight if they do continue that Roche. Yeah, I'd, I'd still say you are now giving Boom time to get Ravage back up, get Santis back up, and we just saw the effects of those two spells together. I think you are running a bit of a risk on MG Trust to not force the issue with your Chrono while those spells are. So we'll see if it pays off in the end. You will also get your RP back up. So I guess that's a tool going your way as well. And the BKB is going to be there for Fearless. So hopefully not going to be caught out in such a bad manner anymore. Just really need to pop those BKBs once you jump in. And they still do hold on to the lead here on MG Trust side. So there's that BKB. So they can try to force something out now. Got the RP. But again, Ravage, Santis are up. Gonna be a risky one to fight into. I've started to come up on Dreamer Cell. As time goes on. MG Trust still huddled in their jungle. Again, the Astral Spirit going to give vision. It seems to be the thing with these Elder Titan picks is they just keep getting so much information for their team. Makes it very hard for the opponent to get in there. Makoto, meanwhile, has caught Maseros. He's going to be surrounded by four heroes, but goes for a Burrow Strike play, but they dust him up. He's definitely going down. But that opens up the Roshan. They TP too many heroes down there. They're going to try and smoke back. And it looks like they won't have the damage output to burst down the Roshan. Yeah, it's not the quickest one for MG Trust. They're just forced to play safe again. Now they're a man down. They do still have their ults, but so does Boom. They can force the issue out if they want. BZ looking for that good Ravage initiation. Q might break the smoke soon. And will. They'll spawn out FBZ. Healers. Hanging around on that mag. He's there with the Chrono. Neither one will initiate yet. Hmm. Really cautious play from both sides. Not wanting to run too much risk. Boom is still really far forward though. They have positioned themselves in that jungle entrance. Still wanting to force something, but there is vision here. Have to be careful. Healers has the RP up, but he's gonna get caught out here. The gush is out. He does pop his BKB. He's gonna need a run though. He won't get the initiation he wanted. It'll actually be his uh his 10 second BKB charge gone. Boom Esports, uh, yeah. they might want to fight now. The BKB is on cooldown. It's Ross. Trying to go in onto Dream as well. He's going to have his mana drained if he's not too careful. Stop. He's going to be out onto Masteros. They've locked him down. Boom Bell will keep him safe. Just uh, back to farming for a bit more. This will give time for that BKB to reset on Fearless. He is just working on some farm in this downtime, going for the Silver Edge next to have even smoother initiations coming in. 
Still a bit of a clump up mid. And FBC still holding on to the Rav. She's trying to find something, but they're not splitting up. They're worried about getting caught out. So both sides are just playing the safe game. Farming together. Keeping each other safe and keeping eyes in that Roche pit. They don't want either side to get that. Although Jackie now down bot trying for that, trying to go for that tier 2. Yeah, he'll be able to get it, but the Roshan's happening now. They say, if you want the tier 2 tail, that's fine. We'll go after the Roshan. It is scanned out. Motivate. I'm going to be forced to come back and react to this. They're not stopping him. G Trust. Or maybe they are. Dreamersaw jumps in, but Fearless, he's got the RP. He's got the illusion, though, with the skewer. Dreamersaw is going to be all right to reinitiate now, but Q jumps in onto the CM. Does pick her off. Maseros, he'll get the false promise out, so he'll survive. Dreamersaw still pushing forward with the PL now. Force them back, but Boom Bell sticking around. Still the Burrow Strike in for Maseros, but there's your Ravage out. It only got Boom Bell. So they do pick off the Oracle at the very least. That may be enough to try and force this Roshan again. Gotta be cautious about the Faces Void now. If Jackie comes in with a Chrono in that pit, you do not have ways to counteract it beyond an Astral from outside. So you've gotta be careful. Jackie might look to try to steal, but looks like he might give it away instead. It's not the fastest Roche though. Still Dude. a little bit of time to react. He's gonna stick around. He'll get some vision there with the tree throw. Tree toss. PZ still chasing down Jackie, just not giving them space. Really holding back, but they do go for the Burrow Strike. Astral Spirit gonna be there. Q jumping back in for an Avalanche toss. Does get it. It's not gonna be enough for Fearless. He's jumped in early. He's been astral up by Makoto. Jackie might need that Chrono soon, but no, they won't initiate. Jackie, he'll get back into the pit now. They're trying to avoid this big Chrono up from Jackie. No Ravage for another 80 seconds. Jackie gonna try and rush the Roshan with that BKB, but he's been elded up and got the Aegis. He does manage to snag it. Jackie now takes down Keskyun. Dreamersaw has been skewered back in by Fearless, but there's his sanities out from Makoto. Still Jackie trying to get out of there, but no. He loses the Aegis to FBZ. They also kill off Dreamersaw, however. And now you do see the Chrono coming out. They've got the OD in there, but he's been disarmed. Jackie could not attack, hide. Going for the stomp back in. Makoto with the Burrow Strike out. Back on to Makoto. He's going to blink away. But Masaros is waiting. Makoto, can they get the stun off in time? No. They didn't have one anyway. So you got the Aegis. It essentially disappears straight away. A 2 for 2 trade. But I'd say the 2 for 2 is... Or rather 2 for 1. Because one of those lives were the Aegis anyway. It is a Motivate Trust win. Mm, definitely is. They widened their lead to 7k now. Um, boom, they were just forced to ravage awkwardly earlier on, so they didn't have that tool. The Santis was just the security Aegis kill, but it's really not lining up. Dream Results having a hard time maintaining the front. There are way too many ways to really keep that PL down here. MG Trust just has way too much AoE damage at play that the PL can't really dance around, so they're gonna have to find a way to fix that. MG Trust. And they're up there. They're just going to wait for the Chrono to be back up. And Jackie, saving up for his MKB, actually switches into the Ags. So he's going for the Ags next and have the utility when he jumps in to get that instantaneous lockdown. You will have RP on Fearless. is ready to go, so they've at least got one initiation tool on standby. And Fearless is going for the Orchid we tend to see on Magnus. So they're going to have that up and running as well. For the side of Boom, they're trying to build into their own DP. Mikado trying to save up for his. You do see Dream Assault still saving up for his. Eye of Scotty really needs it just to tank up and perhaps slow down the regen game that MG Trust does have on hand. Gonna be a bit more gold though, lacking about a thousand. And once you've got that, I think your PL is in a better spot, but not quite out of the woods. Still gonna need more farm to come in, and Boom will still have to keep playing that stall game. That they will. You are almost there to that Eye of Scardi though for Dream Assault. That Ags on Jackie is going to be a big problem, however. In fact, he has switched again to the MKB, it seems. <laughs> uh. 
That's fair. Axe. I mean, he's already got the Blitz Knuckles. Might yeah, might well just go the Axe you know? later. Yeah, no rush. Okay, the utility from the Axe isn't I, isn't necessary. And Fearless, Fearless, he's got his Silver Edge. He does. He's going to run into FBZ, but they seem to know he's around there somewhere, and the pings come out. They've got vision of the mag. Astral Spirit to confirm. Boom Esports. They do have a smoke there on Kezcute. They might just go for it now. They will. Into that mid lane. They'd love to get Jackie. Jackie's got an arcane rune to play with though, so... Rather Fearless is going to get the arcane rune. He'll bottle that one up, so a quicker cooldown RP, but smoke on smoke. Spotted. Then Maseros does get the Barrow Strike off. They've got Dream Soul there. That'd oh be God. a huge pickup to start things off. FPZ. He has to Ravage, but it's not going to be that great. Doesn't stun up Jackie, but Dream Soul does get out with his life intact. Now Keskut going down into Hyde. Will also drop on the older Titan. Meanwhile, Fearless trying to go after Makoto. He will not be able to. I say the Ravage wasn't that great. It did save Dream Soul for sure. Jackie yeah. did manage to get the BKB off in time, however. Yeah, it's not the ideal, but if you save out your core, you won't have it for the high ground. That's the bigger issue here. You have sanities. Whether or not that's enough is a different question. Safety tower. Going down quick. G Trust. I'm going to hold out high ground. They still have that Chrono to play with as well as the RP. Plenty of opportunity for them to turn back around and re-engage. They're all, they're all dead! And he's still there for the Kodo. Avalanche not going to land FBZ. Quick reactions out on the tide. It's going to be a very slow process here for this tier 3 tower. Fearless, nice oh. skewer back onto FBZ. They'd love to kill off this time, but they won't quite yet. Q, jumping in onto Makoto, won't be able to catch him either. In fact, he's the one Astral, but Jackie just commits the Chrono straight onto Makoto, and it looks like he is going to be able to kill him off. Now even the toss back onto Dream is still on that Chrono, but they didn't have enough time. Back onto Keskud instead on the CM. She gets skewered back all the way down to the low ground, and you've still got the RP available. It's tough for Boom Esports to hold this high ground. Fearless waiting for that right moment. Jackie trying to bait them in. Q with the avalanche toss once again onto that Elder Titan hide. He's gone. He shows them he's still got the RP. Oh, it's going to be Yule's up. They've caught out the PL. Dreamer so might just get RP. No, the avalanche toss might be enough and it will be. No buyback available on all three of them that are dead on the side of Boom Esports and MG Trust. They'll get their first racks. They won't be able to get a second as there is still two T2 towers. But they can get started on those instead. They've got a huge lead now off the back of those kills. 16k advantage here for MG Trust. And, you know, this is the faces void. It's just going to scale into that late game. We've seen this multiple times. Chrono is just the spell to go for, and even at RP, not going to be blocked by these BKBs that you want to build for Boom. So they've got to, they've got to find a way back in here. They need to get Dreamer Cell with even more farm. I mean, he's got the Scotty, but it's not enough. He's just not tanky. Like the damage here from MP Press is way too much to deal with. They have to use this Ravage offensively. They cannot afford to pop it for just one hero. They need at least two. Maseros, he's got Kezcute again. This poor CM. Just can't catch a break this game. FBZ gonna be Yule up on the tide. Barrow strike again from Maseros. FBZ gonna get four staffed out there by Makoto. Now Jackie's got the Satanic up. That much harder to kill the Void now. He's just gonna happily go into that tier two top tower. Stomp is not gonna slow him down at all. Chill, man. Got the two siege creeps. The tower's just gonna go really quickly. Uh, boom! I think they have to look at their high ground. You can't afford to make a misstep outside. Just defend your racks here. You do have your two team fight spells, but you need more. I think you even need a freezing field on top of all of this. You need them all to line up. MG Trust. They can take their time. 
22k lead. They have a. Uh, they have taken the top, so they're gonna take the mid, and they can't really stop it. Just, again, patience and the high ground here for Boom. And eventually, MG Trust are gonna put that to the test. 2k net worth lead here. Jackie wants to keep going for that last out of tower. Motor Plus thinking. 97% to motivate trust. Now even a Bloodthorn up on Fearless. Things Ooh. are looking up. At least for motivate trust. Doom Esports, oh, yeah. however, they'd hate to be two games down in this best of five. Smoke. Is there. Jackie gonna be the bait for his team. Gets spotted by this Astral Spirit. That mid lane. Q just gonna rush forward with that smoke. Does get it broken. Does find Hyde, however. Avalanche tosses out. Fortune's end to root him in place. Hyde doesn't really get anyone with the stomp. It's a panic stomp. Now with the Burrow Strike up from Maceros. Go down. No buyback on the Titan. G Trust, do they want to try for high ground again? Not quite. They might go back for the next Roshan, and that's going to be up right now. Oh, perfectly timed. They don't quite know what's up yet, though, but they are the pink, so they're going to be able to go in there and have a chance to get Aegis and Cheese. And once you've got that durability up, you should have nothing to fear into the next fight. It's going to play it safe. They might catch people out, though. Keskid again going for the D wards. Does have the Glimmer Cape to keep safe, though. Q. Spotted there by Dreamer Cell. Fearless, just standing his ground in that mid lane, but will eventually skewer away from the PL and just use that Silver Edge out. You even got a Blink Dagger now on Boom Bell, just so he can make sure the False Promise and Fate's Edicts do come out in time. And straight into the Roshan Pit it is. To motivate Trust. Oh boy. Boom Esports have to fight this. They have no they choice. Can't yeah, they, they've got to jump in here. They've got to play with a rabbit. It just melts. There's just too much damage now from MG Trust. So they're not. They're going to be too late to the party. Ages and trees now. Off for MG Trust. Have to point us out as well. Jackie has his level 25 mic. He went for the backtrack. Oh. So <laughs> you're not going to pierce through with a right clicks. So you've got to find some other way. And there's just a lot of strain put here on Mikado to get the damage done with his end. God, I miss backtrack. Such a good ability. Do you really? I do. <laughs> I hate it. It's such a broken spot. I, I am, I'm a lion player. I have had many fingers missed because of that, Mike. I'm that's not what you happy get, John. About it. You play lion, that's what you get. <laughs> oh, God. It's there, though. On lane, Maceros, Dreamer Cell. Both trying to avoid each other, but now Maceros wants to go back in. Dreamer Cell, do not farm that camp, so you gotta run. They are chasing him. Fearless gonna give up on the chase, or maybe not. He'll take the outpost. Prior to that 40 minute mark. So just denying the XP away from Boom Esports and extending that lead even further for themselves. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna be. That's actually really well timed. That's gonna give Fearless his 25. So we'll have to see what he takes. Uh, more than likely the empowered damage from Cleave. There you go. So even more Cleave and damage coming out for the empower. It's perfectly timed with those uh, outpost takes. Very nice. Oh man. It's almost a 30k lead here for him to trust. It's, uh, it is, you look at the probability later, chart, Mike, uh, 1% for Doom right now. Not a good look. They've got a lot of pressure. They, if they land a good team fight, if they get a perfect Ravage, everything lines up, you might see something. But it has There's to be perfect damage. execution. Jack has got a DD room bottled up, John. He's put oh his BKB away away for this. So if you can catch him out before he can swap the BKB back in. In fact, never mind. He swapped it in right now. Boom. How do you take this team fight, Jackie? He's pretty slow right now, but it won't bother him too much. Onto that tier 3 tower. Ooh. Fearless gets the skewer back onto the tide with the avalanche toss out and the burrow strike. FBZ gonna have to buy it back, but he's lost his gem. Masteros will take it himself. Q. 
to get in there for a toss back. Doesn't quite get one. Nice stomp out. There's no initiation right now. Jackie at least losing all his mana will mean he can't chrono at the moment. So there's that. Jackie doesn't really need the chrono either. He's uh, just hitting the rats. Gonna go back into the bot lane now. On to Hyde, who got tossed away, but Masros gonna hold down FBZ as well. Here comes Kezkut and the CM. Trying to hold Jackie back, but the Dream is all going for the fight. There's just so many things to worry about for Boom Esports. Yeah, it's it's difficult to defend. They need to wait for their ET to be up. They need to somehow get a good Ravage on. But Jackie's just been so patient. And you're gonna have to I think they're trying to burst the ages first before going for the Ravage play. It's just you uh, Ravage is all you have to start. Looks like Q going in again. Kills off Kezcute on the CM. Jackie back onto that tier 3 top tower. Does take it out. Now onto the melee barracks. But Kezcute, he'll buy back. They don't want to get Megat here. He's trying to defend this. Jump in, but a great forest strike out from Maseros. Jackie jumps in. He doesn't have the mana for the Chrono. The Ravage connected. He'll lose the Aegis. But that'll mean a free reset. He'll have the mana for Chrono now. And he might just commit. No. He'll back off with the BKB, back towards the racks. They'll try and just get the Mega Creeps going. Fearless, gonna start losing his mana, will skewer away. Epicenter though, Masteros jumping back in, but misses out on the CM. Still Q will come in, going after Kezcute. They want to get the dieback at least on him, and they just may, and they do. Dieback on Kezcute. Dreamersaw still trying to fight this one out, but the Mega Creeps have been achieved. Jackie holding on to that chrono for now. Another avalanche toss out from Q setting up onto Hyde. That'll be Hyde gone with no buyback. Into FBZ, but the chrono catching out Makoto. That's it, they've called it. GG once again, Motivate Trust taking a 2 0 lead in this best of five grand final. And John, who would have believed that this team would have made it to the grand final, let alone taken the first two games off Boom Esports? You know, honestly, I'd say not even I would expect it. Uh, they were just always the underdogs in their matchups, but they pulled through. I mean, these guys just play the best of three up to three games. And they're still on top. They look to be in really good form. One game away from sealing it off. Boom, esports. We, the, the team's improved a lot, but something's up here. Their drafts, their play styles are being counteracted by MG Trust. They've got to get something out of the bag here for game number three. You'd not want to give M MG Trust that win for free. And, you know, they would love a win themselves. You said it yourself, but they've been at this point so many times. They would love a win. They need to work at it. Try to swing it from next game onwards. Let's see how it all works out in game number three's draft. It is MLP Dota and Dronex Fire. We'll see you all again in about 10 minutes for that third game.